the block, located on the northwestern end of Redfern train station, is one of the most notorious strips of land in Sydney. The land has played centre stage to crime, drugs, riots and even death. Owned by the Aboriginal Housing Company, the block is set to be transformed, with redevelopment on track to begin in April next year. It's any place that to just show people that, hey, Aboriginal people just go with anybody else. So we want to make a stand and, you know, just get an empowerment in us to, to show people, hey, look, you know, we, if you don't help us, we'll do it ourselves. Under the Pimowee project, the Aboriginal Housing Company planned to build 62 new units on this land, including a new gymnasium, an Indigenous hostel and a cultural and arts centre. But many within the Aboriginal community are not at all happy. What I don't like is that our Aboriginal people are being kicked out, and, you know, and some of them haven't had uh, time to even find another place. That's just the way you take away the Aboriginality from Redfern. So they're going to knock the gym down. That's an icon area, the gym. Uh, I would like to see them build houses on the top of housing for Aboriginal people, not the units, houses. There is community concern over the residents that will be allowed into the redeveloped block. Applicants with a drinking problem will not be allowed residents. How many people, in Aboriginal people that you know, that don't drink or smoke? Ah, go away, they all fucking do the... The Pemawee project involves plans for student accommodation. The thought of white students living on the block has angered members of the Aboriginal community. Now they're contradicting themselves about putting white students in buildings and the black people walking around and don't have accommodation. Where's the sense in that? Well, can I just put one thing straight, okay? The, 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 the affordable housing that's on our land, the block, as they call it, would be for Aboriginal people and Aboriginal only. Mundine believes the opinion of Aborigines not living in Redfern is irrelevant. The people that only got the say in this community is members of this company. Their members are shareholders. Aboriginal rights activist Shirley Lomas thinks the AHC redevelopment proposal is motivated by money. I wouldn't like to see other people, other Aboriginal people, get ri uh, rich at the expense of their own people. Because obviously if there's a development for this place, as you well know, the people that are organising the development will of course they'll get a fee. There's under no way Will Daycorp have any commercial gain? While opinion is split over the AHC proposal, the one fact for certain is that the block continues to occupy the minds and hearts of Aboriginal people.